understand you've got a trip impending to mm -hmm. Egypt. But first of all, can you tell us a little bit about the Wow Bible? Um, well, we started it just about a year ago on the 1st of May. We've got some teething troubles out now. Um, we've got it's mainly done on Facebook, that horrible place that some people don't want to go on. But we can use it for good. And so I've got a couple of people that I've been helping in England, a couple of England, a couple in Britain, a couple in the States. And starting soon, I've got a mother and her nine-year-old boy who's going to start it as well in May. And he's excited. He's telling all his friends he's going to Bible college. <laughs> it's not quite that level. It's going through each, one of the first modules is going through each book of the Bible. So for instance, in Isaiah, you have to find out which city God is going to lay waste. Do you know it? <laughs> it's Damascus, by the way. <laughs> so yes, and, yes, and we're starting up with a couple of people here That's soon great. as well. Now, how will the Wow Bible School in India be different from this? Um, well, it will be different because they're going to be doing the studies in the morning, and then in the afternoon they're going to go put it into practice. So they're <laughs> actually going to be there in person mm -hmm. not online yep. so and we're translating it into translating the studies into west bengali because there is no other west bengali christian studies mm -hmm. and the people who are he's got at least six people signed up now which is enough with another 30 people interested and these people they don't work because there is no jobs so it's a way for them to get educated in the christian life mm -hmm. So we're going over there to meet them within about four weeks' time. And the way that we got to go is just amazing. I didn't, as far as I know, I didn't tell anybody. I got the idea to go, and I said, okay, Dad, if you want me to go, then we'll go. But you know what you've got to do. And so he did. And so within a couple of weeks, we said, if you want to go, we'll pay. And then I said, well, okay, but I need, we'll go. And so last week, I said, well, Dad, I did a couple of days away with young me at some point, and I didn't tell anybody else, and then yesterday I was on Facebook, and someone messaged me and says, Dave, we need you to come to London and we'll pay. Mm -hmm. So we're going this week for a couple of three days and two nights away, because yeah. I'm the only person that they can... Yes. Right, I'm just going to put now, explain a little bit about this gentleman and, and his wife. That's Rabi and his wife, Minu. I help bring Rabi to the Lord over 33 years ago when I was down in Bangalore doing my young person's travelling. <laughs> the body is not so robust these days. Yes. Can I say about that? Because several of us said to you, <laughs> how about you going out to India when we heard mm. about this trip? We were very excited and you said, no way. No way. Stomach wouldn't my, take my, it. My, <laughs> my stomach 33 years ago was cast iron. Now it's just meat and potatoes. <laughs> so what's changed your mind? The Lord. Has yep. <laughs> now, now you've got your visa. Mm -hmm. Tell us exactly where you're going. Um, well, I'll be flying up down south. Right down at the bottom is a place called Bangalore, which used to be called Bangalore, where I met Rabi. And he's now up in West Bengal, which is up in what we used to call Kolkata. So that's basically where I'll be going. I'll be going to be going for about a week or so. But a day's train journey away down in Tanali, there is an orphanage. And I've been doing, giving some pastoral care and support for them on Facebook. And they want me to come down and visit them as well. But I'm not quite so sure about that. Because <laughs> again, 33 years ago, I would have just got on the train myself. But not now. I'm a bit older and wiser. Maybe not as mature, but older and wiser. And when, when is this trip? I gather uh, you've got your visa. I've got my visa after a long winded process. So I'll be going in within about four weeks. Right, that's great news. How can we best pray for you? Uh, you can pray, pray for my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and um, on the, I'm having trouble with one of my knees, so on May... I've been having physio, and then when I come back, I've got MRI scans to see what's going on with it, and just pray for clarity of mind. And I know it's a dangerous prayer, but pray for patience, because I'm not always the most patient of people. 
am I? <laughs> okay, let, let's pray <laughs> thank you. now. Father, we just thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the work Dave's doing and this new venture, this opportunity for the Wild Bible School to be in India and with a group of people who want to learn more about you. We pray that between now and when Dave goes, that more will sign up for this. We pray a real blessing on them as that work has been translated into their West Bengali language. Um, we just pray as they get started. And for Dave, for all the travelling, for his possibility of moving from Kolkata down to the south to visit the orphanage, Lord, we just pray your guidance in that. Keep Dave in good health. We think about his knee, we think about his stomach too. And Lord, we do pray that you would, you would be with him, give him all the guidance and patience and wisdom he needs. And we pray for young, young me back here in in this country in Bournemouth and we pray you be with her too. We thank you in Jesus 